Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So, today we're going to talk a little bit about exposure blending, and we're going to specifically talk about three different methods uh, from very beginner to advanced. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is I, I just gave this presentation to a local camera club. I realized I could give a better presentation instead of just uploading the straight file from the Zoom meeting. I figured I'll take it back to Photoshop and I'll record myself talking while I edit in Photoshop. And so this will give me a better opportunity to show you how to blend uh, different sky exposures together uh, so you can have a more natural and a better overall photo at the end of your photo shoot. So this is a, a real basic example. I am not going to show you all the ins and outs of working Photoshop. This is not a tutorial like that. This is just an introduction so you can see how this method works. And so we're gonna hop over here on the computer, we're gonna pull it up, and then we are going to show you how to do this. So, uh, as you're looking at the video, I realized as I was editing it that the video capture software for the program does not show you a couple of my windows when they open up, particularly when I clicked, clicked the select uh, button up on the top bar and the drop down menu pops up. You will not see that in the video, just know it's there. And then also the, the program did not record the TK Action Panel extension. Uh, that I use and so you will see me in the video begin to click on stuff but there will be nothing within the video. That is me selecting the TK action panel. Uh, I'll figure out how to fix that in the future but for right now that's what's going on and that's what you're seeing. Okay everybody let's start this tutorial. So. Here is our image that we're going to work with. Let me clear out the selection we have already. So we have an image I took in Zion National Park um, last year, two years ago. Uh, don't really matter. And so we have our sky exposure and we have our ground exposure. And the plan is we're going to use a couple different methods to bring these together. So the first method is simply using the new tools that have been built into Photoshop, we go like this and click select, and we go down to sky. It'll sit here and think for a second. It'll select the sky. We come over here to our layers tool, or add a new layer mask, and we click that, and boom. We've now created a fairly basic exposure blend of a sky with the ground. And so then I begin editing the image from here. So this is tip number one. If you have a fairly flat horizon that doesn't have a whole lot of complications, you simply go up to the select tool and you select to the sky and then you bring it together. Okay? Really simple. So now let's go on to method number two. So method number two is we create a mask over our top layer. We grab our gradient tool and we're, while we're still selecting the mask, we, where did my gradient tool go? Here we go. We drag this gradient tool. Oh, wrong way. Let me make that and flip that around. Oh, here, what we need to do. I like inverting my layer mask. And so now we can't see this top layer over here. And we want to then have white on black for our gradient. And then we're going to drag our gradient down. And we're going to kind of do that a couple times till we like what it is. And now we've blended together a sky with the ground. Fairly basic, fairly straightforward. But it's a little bit crude on its selection. So if I go like this and I click Alt and I click on the image, I can see how the gradient comes down. And it's right here is over the mountains. And let's say I want to bring that back a little. So come up here and go to my selection tool. I select my mountains. I add a little bit down below so I'm not worrying about accidental hard lines. I grab my paintbrush, paint, paintbrush tool, come back over here, and let me do Control H to hide my little selection lines. And I can just kind of gently paint back the mountains, so the mountains are a little bit brighter. 
and we see how that looks. On our layer mask, you can see it right here on our layer mask, how that's looking. And so that's option two for blending skies. These are really nice for really basic sky exposures. If you have more complicated horizons, these do not work. Okay, let's move on to example number two. Okay, now we're here at example number two. So let's remove our uh, mask that we had beforehand. So here's another good example of what we had beforehand, where we have a dark layer, which is my sky layer, and we have a cloud layer, the cloud, or the, my ground layer. My ground layer has a lot of details here, but my sky is lacking detail in some of these spots. And so I want to help bring in these clouds over here. So what we're going to do is uh, we can do, first and foremost, we can do, still do this the select sky tool. Oh, here we go. Let me make that. We do select sky. Let it think. And then we can still do create the mask. And it'll do an okay job. The mountain's a little bit darker than I would like up here. And if I wanted to, I could then sit here and play with this and, and try to get it back to where I want. Uh, so that's one option. Uh, the other option would be to put a layer mask on this, invert this so we can't see it. And then we're going to go over here to our luminosity, luminosity panel. I'm using the TK Action Luminosity Panel, and I can add a link to get a 15% download discount. Um, if you do not have this yet. And so what we're going to do, we're going to select some of our lights. I'm going to use lights number two. And so we see up here at the clouds, we have kind of these bright areas that we want to select are pretty well identified. I think I'm going to make those a little bit more um, targeted, or I guess less targeted. Uh, so I select more of the clouds. So we're going to go like this. Go over our channels, push control, click on the rapid mask, come back over here. We're going to hide our marching ants, take our paintbrush tool, make sure we're on white. I'm going to reduce that just a little so I'm not doing too harsh of a paint in. And now we're going to come over here to our mountains, or our clouds, and we're going to paint our clouds in. So we have more details up here in the clouds. Just like that, we've got detail back up in the clouds with a little bit more refinement. We can see how it looks over here on our mask tool. Um, let's back off this mountain just a little bit because it's a little darker than I would like. Make sure that gets brightened back up just a little bit. And then boom, we have example number two. And so this is using luminosity masks to blend in the sky. Um, this one's a little bit more targeted and a little bit more effective for complicated horizons. Since this horizon is a little bit more complicated, this is a really good example of using luminosity masks. And this is only with a two image exposure. So let's move on to photo number three. And we're going to have a three exposure example. Okay, here is example number three. I'm going to do this. I liked these layers. I like this exposure blend. And so I'm going to just hide these for the moment being. And we're going to look at our three different images. So we have a sky exposure for these very brightest of highlights. We have an exposure for most of the clouds and most of the sky. And we have an exposure for the ground. And so what I did for this one, um, for kind of a really rough estimation how this is going to look, I clicked on my second layer, and I went Select Sky. And the new Select Sky tool is pretty good in Photoshop. I like using it. It does a pretty effective job more often than not. And then I click my masking tool, boom, and I've blended 
a majority of the sky with the ground. Um, it's not perfect. We can kind of see some odd haloing right here. And so if I was going to spend a lot more time, I would sit here and fiddle with this, but I'm not going to at the moment. But now I need to get these details a little bit back into my image. And generally how I'd go about doing this, I'd create a mask over this. For example, I would invert it, make it black so you can't see it. I do that by doing control I, you can do a few other methods as well. And I go like this and I select up here to my luminosity panel. Oh, oh. Let's clear out our selection and let's do three. So three selects mostly just these very brightest of spots. Push control, click on our channels and our mask that we just made. Come back over here, control H, hide that. And now we get our paintbrush. I'm probably on a little on the high side, but it'll work for what we're doing right now. And I paint back in these blown out sections of clouds. And there we go. Now we have a three image exposure blend using luminosity masks, using the TK action panel using the sky selection tool up here in the select sky tool in Photoshop and then using layer masks. And these are really simple ways to go about doing this. Um, and just like that, now you have a starting point for you to edit your image. And so, you know, you'd go forward and start with, you know, levels or curves or, or dodging and burning the image to get it to where you want. So there is a quick example and a tutorial how to do that. As I said, this is a free tutorial, and if you'd like to learn more directly more from me, message me on my website, and we can set up some Skype Zoom lessons, Skype or Zoom lessons, and we can talk about how to go about doing this. Okay, um, thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be putting out more content in the future, some video editing, some adventures, uh, some on printing, and uh, these are just general basic tips for you to, to work with. And I look forward to chatting with you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.